Ladies, gentlemen, boys, girls, let's talk about Lockbar Pro, and it doesn't sound too amazing at the name, but it is amazing considering it brings iOS 7's control center directly to your lock screen. Um, I was a little saddened when I heard that this is not available inside your normal, you know, home screen or anywhere else. But a tweak can only go so far, right? And I thank the developer for creating this since nothing's more handy than opening up your iPod, being able to swipe upward and change the brightness directly from there. Literally nothing's easier than that. And uh, the faded slider and all that does not come with this tweak. It's just the low arrow with the control center along with it. But they call it Lockbar Pro because they apparently don't want to copyright it. Um, there are a variety of options. First of all, you can either disable it or you, there's activation gestures, there's swipes, and you can figure that out on your own once you get the tweak. And there's double tap. Double tap is basically, instead of swiping upward right here, you double tap this thing, and the thing comes up. That's for, say you have another tweak running like Atom or Jelly Lock, and you don't want to be disturbed. Toggles, you can of course use your most important toggles at the top, which will appear on your first page, and least important on your second page. And finally, there's visual settings, the number of toggles, and I prefer three, but I'll keep it at four since that's what it looks the best. Um, I prefer three because I have my top three toggles, not top four, and the rest of them are just nothing to me. And let's get to visual settings where you can put the number of toggles. I prefer it at three because it looks cool, but if you want to go all official, then of course you can keep it at four like I just showed you a few seconds ago or minutes. And uh, finally, there's background image. I really love this part of the tweak. Because it literally allows you to go into custom, take an image, and basically, instead of having that clearish awesome background to your control center, you will have your image in the background, which looks just as cool as the sky. But yeah, in any case, that's going to be it for this video. I hope I did a good job reviewing it, since they did an extremely good job making it. And I thank the developer, and his name is... Uh, I don't see his name here. Well... Well, whoever he is, I thank him for this amazing tweak that helps me do a bunch of things faster than usual. And uh, yeah, that's going to be it for this video. Subscribe if you're willing to subscribe. And if you're not willing to subscribe because I did something wrong, I'm quite sorry. And you can put that in the comment section below, and I'll be sure to fix it. But yeah, that's going to be it for this video. This is Moss from Ion Studio, logging off.